All right, here we go. I've never heard this version of Go Tell Aunt Rhody. I mean, the the melodies kind of familiar. I know that melody, but the words are a little. Uh, I don't know this one. So um, one thing I do like about this song, and that I think is good practice for you, is going to the B flat down stepwise to F. But first, let's talk about the song. So we are back on page ten and um, back into playing uh, B flats with this. We have a song that is in F. We know that it's in F because it has one flat and it's, it uh, ends on F, so that's those are like telltale signs of a song that's in F. So the B flat in the key signature, remember that's when the B flat symbol is all the way on the left side right after the clef sign, and that means that every time you see a B in the song, it's going to be flat. If it wasn't, then it, was gonna ha it would have extra markings around it, which we haven't even gotten to yet. All right, so we have starting off, right over the word ant. All right, B flat, remember, is third fret, third string. And we also have other B flat down here on the first fret of the fifth string, but it's not in this song. This song really just stays between F and C. Um, so it's a pentascale. F, G, A, B flat, C. Only five notes you have in this song, but there is a lot of B flat. So this is actually my favorite song so far in the book to help you practice that B flat. So if you can get this song up, it's moderato, it's not supposed to be that fast. It's actually supposed to be a sad song, but they have it in this book a little bit different. How about this B? Would be exactly what I would be looking for as a teacher, except for write notes. And then I play the melody the way I know it and not the way it's written there. So sorry about that. Go back to the first time I played it, that's better. All right, um, so there's Go Tail Aunt Rody with weird words. All right, see you.